It was a little chilly this morning, 64 degrees actually. And I thought, hey, why don't I come out here and put a couple boards up? I just meant to put up like that board and that board there, but it stayed cool. So I ended up putting that board and that board. And then it started getting a little warm, but I went ahead and finished all the way up to right here. So I don't know if I can get out here tomorrow and get any more on or not. Guess what? The skirting is all done. Yes, all the way down. Looks just like this on the other side. And we got these nice little vents right here. Hear them cicadas? Good God. Then here's the other side. And around that end looks just like this. But I'm not gonna walk all the way down there. Got the brush hog out here and kind of got this cleaned up the best I could. This has been busy around here. Didn't get a video uploaded Saturday because nothing that I'm doing is worth videoing. Yeah, I got that back part there mode. I got this ditch. I don't know if you can see it back over here. That ditch there and the up top up there. I got all that mowed. The grass was almost as tall as I was. Got a burn pile going right there. Burned up the roots and everything that they dug up when they dug the footers. Got them a burning. Smells good too. But I've just been busy. Oh yeah! I got the walls all done in the shop too. See, I've been doing a lot. Been moving stuff into the new house. Been out here, because it's been actually cool the last two or three days. But I got all these boards on. Got all the receptacle covers on, except for this one. I'm about to put a plug in here, because I'm gonna put that small refrigerator from this old house right here in this corner. Now I just need to get this cleaned up. There's probably about three inches of sawdust back there. It's slippery back there. I wanna get this cleaned up and try to get my table saw in here. I need to make some shelves for some of the cabinets in the house. They're like 29 inches tall, 30 inches deep, 16 wide, no middle shelf. But you can see all this sawdust here. My tools and stuff, I kind of started over there, but I just need to get this here done. So let me do that. I'm not gonna take you on that journey. It would be boring to watch me clean this up, but let me get this shop cleaned up and I'll get back with you. Well, this is a different view. That's all cleared out back there. Well, except all my tools are there, but this here is the shop now. Now I gotta get all my tools in here. Well, I really need to build a workbench, but I'm still trying to decide, but I gotta build those shelves for the cabinets in the house, so I need to get my table saw and my drill press here. So I guess, welcome to the shop. Now it's recording. My old man walk. Well, as you saw, I got my table saw and I got my drill press into the shop now. It's taking shape, it really is. But I still need to get my dust collector in here because when I use my miter saw back there and I use this table saw here, it creates a lot of dust, so need to try to suck up as much dust as I can. I know where my dust collector is. I actually got it pulled out. The problem is I can't find a part for the dust collector. It'll work as it is right now, but this thing that I'm looking for will make it a lot better. Well, let's go see if we can't find it. I kind of looked around yesterday, couldn't find it. So let's go have a look. Well, I have looked all over this shop right here, top to bottom, left to right, I pulled everything out and looked behind it, and I still can't find the part. But right there is my dust collector, and what I'm looking for is, see that white lid on top there? I have a new one that's a lot stronger than that. Same thing with this one here. Top to bottom, left to right. I've looked under everything, and it's not there. I looked behind everything on that shelf. All these boxes, it's not there. It was over there. I know it was. And I put it somewhere where I wouldn't forget where it was. But we all know how that goes. And then I have this mess here. This is just piled in here. I looked a little bit yesterday but didn't find it. But let's see if I can find it now. Here's a bucket. I mean, I could use this bucket, but it's 
Not in here. Not in there. Not in that box. Not in behind there. Not over there. Not under there. It's got a big old flat screen back here. Not there. Not over here. Not here. Not down there. Hey, one thing though, there's a bunch of spider webs in here. Good God. I just don't know where it's at. Well, why it would it even be down there? Because it was over there. I've moved it around three or four times over there. Well, I guarantee if I went and bought another one, I'd find it. Got one more place right there. Could it be in the pressure tank house? You probably ain't going to be able to see in here. It's scary in here when that door closed. Just blows my mind. Well, I guess I'll have to do with what I have right now until I find it. That's just unreal. This thing works. This thing here is called a dust deputy. It's like a cyclone. This right here hooks to the equipment. This sits up here and your shop back hooks in up there and it creates a cyclone. And what happens is all your dust goes into the bucket and just the very fine particles go out and into your shop back. So this here will get full. Disconnect everything, pull the lid off of it. I have this set up where I can just pour it into this bag and when that bag gets full, it, I dump it out. This used to be an Arbor Freight dust collector. Used to have a big old motor with the suction and everything down here, but motor went bad on it and these things went up $100. So I just went this route here. It works pretty good. So what's next? I got a million and one things to do. I mean, I got to fix this here. I need to build an enclosure for my air compressor. I need to get my big table over here. You know, the one where I did a lot of videos from? When the Arkansas, my, I got a big roll around bench. I need to get that over here. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. Mrs. Pedler can't pick up much weight. And that thing, I don't know, it weighs a ton. Well, not really a ton. You know what I mean, it's an expression. Like I was explaining earlier, I got these cabinets in the house. I have, I have nine of them. Six in the kitchen, three in one bathroom. They're really weird. They're like, I don't know, 30 inches tall, 30 inches you know, deep, and 16 inches wide, and there's no middle shelf. So it's like you put stuff in there, you got two feet of wasted space. So I gotta do that. I got the lumber for it over here. I bought it. Um, I need to get that refrigerator over here. And I forgot, I totally forgot, I have a freezer. I gotta put that freezer in here. So I installed another plug down here. I got the plug over there like I said I needed to, but I got another plug over here now so I can put the freezer. So I'm gonna have a freezer and a refrigerator in my shop. Now all I need is a stove, a sink, a toilet, and a bed, and I could just move in here. Uh, my bed in the house is a lot more comfortable. Like I said, I got a lot of things I need to do I'll try to make videos of it. It's, <laughs> I don't know. I got a lot of yard work I got to do. I still got to get three, well, two steps built and a back deck. I got a quote for that today and I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's a lot of money, so I'll try to figure out something there. Still got to build some kind of workbench in here, but I don't know what I want to build. Do I want to go around just on the end or do I want to have a U-shaped one on the outside walls? I don't know. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll get an email whenever I upload a new video. I'm going to try to get back on track, too, every Wednesday and Saturday. Not making any promises, though. Well, everyone, have a blessed day, and see ya!